I got the moves. I got the moves. Oh, I'm making moves. You gotta move. You gotta make the city move. Like, whoa. I make the city move. I got the move. Chris Paul has had a pretty unfortunate NBA career. He could have been part of an NBA dynasty, but injuries destroyed the Clippers' dreams and Chris Paul's hopes of ever making a Western Conference Finals. Eventually, he did on the Houston Rockets last year, but he wasn't even the number one option on that team and had his worst stat line in his career that season before this year. But there was actually a chance Chris Paul could have made the Western Conference Finals back in 2014, but a couple of missed calls that decided the game cost him that chance, and I'll be going over those in today's video. If you're new here and enjoyed the video, be sure to subscribe for more NBA content. But with that being said, let's look at these no calls. The year is 2014, and the LA Clippers are a serious threat to top contending teams. This is their best year to try win a championship, as in the offseason they had loaded up their bench and had some incredible depth coming into this season. They finished their season as the third seed, winning 57 games led by Chris Paul's efficient season of 19 points and 10 assists per game. They overran the Golden State Warriors in round 1 and move on to the second round versing the Oklahoma City Thunder. This Thunder team was good. Led by Kevin Durant, they had almost eclipsed the 60 win mark this season and Russell Westbrook was chipping in his part too. They were proving that no James Harden wasn't a problem and they would not go down without a fight against this Clippers team. It was shaping up to be a very interesting series. The two teams split the opening four games and pretty much whoever took game five would have the momentum to close out the series. So let's jump to one minute left of game five. The Clippers have a five point lead and look ready to take this game and go into game six with a three to two game advantage on their home court. The Clippers have the ball. Chris Paul drives towards the basket, pulls up at the elbow and knocks down a clutch shot to give the Clippers a seven point lead with 50 seconds remaining. The only way the Clippers could lose this would be everything to go against them and everything pretty much did. The Thunder somehow brought it within two with 20 seconds left and Chris Paul turns the ball over after being inbound of the ball. Reggie Jackson takes the ball, drives and appeared to be fouled, but there was no call. Looking back on the replay, the call was right, but what wasn't right was who got the possession of the ball. If you look on the replay, the ball clearly comes out of Jackson's hands, yet the referee gives the ball back to OKC and they have another chance to win the game or send it to overtime. Westbrook is given the ball, he jacks up his awful three-point shot in clutch situations like he normally does, it pricks hard, but apparently there is a foul on the play by Chris Paul. I'll quickly pause it where the contest was at, and you can tell me whether that's a foul or not, but it looks like a very good closeout and contest from Paul, in my opinion. There's no foul there. Paul isn't in Westbrook's personal space, or anything like that. I don't really see any contact at all, so I don't really get why this was a foul. If it was, it was extremely soft, and it's hard to see any foul at all in that play, so I don't really know where the ref called this foul. But hey, that's just my opinion. Westbrook knocks down all three free throws, and down the other end, Chris Paul attempts to drive the ball, is clearly fouled on the drive, yet there is no call, it's a steal, and the Thunder take the game. Here's a different angle showing that Reggie Jackson clearly reached in and fouled Paul, which would have sent him to the free throw line as the Clippers were in the bonus, and it probably would have won the game for Los Angeles. After this, the momentum is too much for the Clippers to come back and the Thunder win game 6 and the Clippers lose yet again in the second round. It's just so unfortunate to see this happen to such a good player and to see how his career eventually unfolded. Had the refs made the right calls, which was so blatantly obvious, especially the out of bounds call and foul at the end, Chris Paul could have possibly gone to the NBA Finals or at least challenge the great San Antonio Spurs in the Western Conference Finals, and the Lob City era would not be looked upon as the most disappointing team in recent memory. I know it sounds harsh, but if you really look at it, and look at how CP3's career turned out, these no calls have pretty much ruined Chris Paul's career.
But what do you guys think of this? Did these poor calls or no calls by the refs ruin Chris Paul's career in your opinion? Let me know in the comments below. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to drop it a like and subscribe. But with that being said, I am out. Peace.